Hello. Oh, my chat box is on my face. Hello? Hello. Hopefully my mic and audio and everything is great. So, accent. Thumbnails crazy. I was going to go live. Hello. Hello, everybody. Before I address the thumbnail, The Rock, let's go. You're hopeful this season. Me too. I think the Mariners will have a great regular season to start. It's been nice watching the offense put in decent work. Um, but obviously we know that the game against the Cubs right now has kind of gotten out of hand. Smooches, bro. Smooches, bro. Excited to start the season. W, Christian, same. David, hello. Cut, yo, Vera. Yeah. So, <laughs> accent. I was going to go live probably like 10, 15 minutes ago. Scrap, what's up, bro? Um, Just to like hang out for the last final game in Arizona of spring training. It's like the last spring training game, but like we played two games in San Diego against the Padres because they're coming home from the Korea series. And so I was going to go live like 10, 15 minutes ago. And I'm just watching Yovera just get tatered, like, left and right. The Cubs just scored again. <laughs> Another double off the center field wall. And so I was like, I got to change the packaging. Like, the vibes were just way different from when I initially started <laughs> thinking about setting up stream. And so, yeah, Mauricio Yovera definitely uh, will not be making the, the big boy team, as uh, we all know. Not on the 40-man, correct. So yeah, I um I couldn't think of another thing to package it as, so I just went with the meme of the guy just being disappointed. <laughs> like, it happened so fast. Like, Yovera was just like, he was pitching, and the Cubs batters were just hitting the pitches. So, thoughts on acquiring Duran now that he's injured and his stock may be going down? I don't think the Twins will be selling him, if that makes sense. I mean, I, I would love to have Duran. Sure. By all means. But I don't think he's available. Personally. Did the stream break? Oh. Azaria, I'm not sure if the stream is broken for anybody else. A refresh might do okay. Um, hopefully. Oh, my, my secondary layout... Oh, pulled back the wrong curtain there. There we go. Professional streamer forgot to hide the other layout. It's just a stretched version of this one. Yeah, Duran's not going to be free agent until 2028. Yeah, he's still not going to be that cheap. You know what I mean? With that logic, Felix Batista is being shopped. He is on the trade block. You heard it here. We're acquiring Felix Batista and Joan Duran to be on the Mariners team in 2024. Sam and Brito is all about it. We need all the best high leverage arms we can get. Hooray, nine to five. Exactly. It's just, it's a bigger that they want. The Mariners wanted to have a bigger deficit to come back from at the end of the day. That's really it. So who are the actual relief pitchers on opening day? Got it fixed, but until after I couldn't call you. Joe. No, it's okay. I'm glad you got it fixed though. Um, the actual relievers on opening day. Munoz, to Stanek, to Spire, to Saucedo, to Thornton, to Voth, to Bolton, and then Colin Snyder and or Tyson Miller. But like Tyson Miller might start in AAA. Nah. Who knows like what really is going to happen there. It's like if, it, if we're really like sweating the, la the eighth spot in the bullpen. Over Colin Snyder versus Tyson Miller, eh, I'm not. I'm not gonna be tripping personally. Skull, hello, 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 hello. Bolton is a bit scary. I mean, given his performance last year with the Pirates, not great. He's been fine in spring, but what about Ty Adcock? I don't know if the Mariners have just like been like, eh, we like we we don't we don't want to play with you anymore. Like, Woody, like, dropping the, you know, Andy dropping Woody in Toy Story. Um, Brian. Um, Brian. Lucario. I appreciate you becoming 
or re remembering, as I like to call it, remembering. Sorry if that was loud. I appreciate it. Thank you for becoming a re a remember. Um, members only video out after the stream at some point. Um, so that's exciting. I didn't forget about one for you guys this weekend, so don't you worry. Don't you worry. There is a members only video happening. It'll be after stream. Tyson Miller over Snyder. Yeah, I mean. Miller's been good, but they maybe just want him to work a little bit more in terms of like getting ramped up or they maybe they think they can get something out of Snyder and then they'll get rid of him. I don't really know. I'm all about the bullpen arms. That's all we need. Adcock was injured late last year. So I feel like Adcock and Bizarro are guys that like when we need them, they'll be available like month into the season, maybe in June. At that point, then the Mariners bullpen can get either deeper or if they need to replace it via injury, like Bizardo, Adcock, or guys that have been in the major league level, dad, okay success, like they've been okay. I'm not going to, like, I would be surprised, first and foremost, because of Brash and Santos, not because of Adcock and Bizardo, but if, like, Snyder, Bolton, Miller, all stayed in the Mariners, like, bullpen the entire year personally what you know about jojo romero then what is that e what is that emoji or is that an emote is that like a winking fox i'm confused the glaceon squad yo glaceon's glaceon's a that's a w evolution slayer won't lie mariner mojo hype for the season lorenzo appreciate it 10th super on alive dub Big W. It'll pop up at some point. I appreciate the, the dollar ninety nine, my friend. Thank you. If I'm available to stream on opening night, I will more than likely do it. I know Colton will be at the game. Um, he is at the. Well, what I can't remember the name. The fan fest thing that's happening today. Preseason hype at the park. Well, I can't remember what they called it. So he's there. If anybody said hi to him, if you know you're in the stream and at T-Mobile, you know that's pretty. That's pretty sick. Double dipping on the Mariner Mojo today. But yeah, I'm you know if I'm streaming opening day, you'll know because we'll be live. Are you a little excited slash curious for the minor league club assignments? Um, I think there's nothing that's been like super out of left field, I would say. Everything's been pretty cut and dry of like what we kind of expected. Maybe, there's the super chat. There it is. Maybe Samad Taylor could have gotten, you know, a, uh, had a chance. But realistically, the final spot is between, It's I mean, is it the outfield spot? Like Trammell and Canzone, like what they do with Trammell, there's going to, hang on until the very last second that they can because Tramel's out of options and then they're not going to send Canzone down to AAA, I don't think. Like, Is it not out of left field? I mean, I don't know. I feel like... Did, did, you, did you expect Felling to start anywhere else? The Mariners should sign you. You throw an 81 with a nasty slider in mid-70s. I think, I mean, it would be a good change of pace. Once we get all the, you know, the flamethrowers back, like all four guys that can throw. Really? You thought complex league, huh? I guess that's true. I guess that's fair. But, hmm. I could, I, out of anybody, like him getting a chance in Modesto is sick. So, I'm I'm all in. For him to just start there. Maybe if you wanted to see him hit 500 for six games. And then get moved to Modesto. But. Did Luke Rayleigh get on. Like, who are we shouting about Luke Rayleigh for? What is he doing? He's out of the game at this point. I think. Yeah. What, what accent said. Like. Lazaro's going to start in Modesto again. 
he could move to Everett by the end of the year, like maybe middle of the year if he's like mashing, but I wouldn't expect like them to like fast track, you know? Um, Luke Rayleigh is the goat until he's not. He didn't start out the goat, but he has caught fire. Colton be at any Rainiers games. I, I mean, if I'm in Washington at any point and I'm at a Rainiers game, it will be probably known to, to you guys just because I am few and far between in attending Mariners games and Mariners affiliated games. Um, Colton may be a bit more than me. He didn't really go to many minor league games last year. I don't think. Um, For minor league guys, like... Like... Cole Young, Harry Ford, like you're saying, like should be assigned to Arkansas, I feel like. Locklear, I mean, he should just be in Tacoma. Just, you know, hitting taters in the PCL. Like, Ty Pete's got to stay down in Modesto. Like, any of the draftees from last year should be in Modesto to start. Just to get working. Aside from maybe Ben Williamson. Maybe Ben Williamson starts in Arkansas. Locklear's in Arkansas? That's crazy. Like, why? Just because it's not as, like... But, like, why? <laughs> I get that he was only there for half a year, but, like... Is it because it's not as, like, pitcher-friendly? Or as hitter-friendly? Like, the PCL is just... Everyone's just gonna hit no matter what, so they don't want him to go do that? 22 games. And the postseason. And the postseason. Which is probably, like, what? Like, six games max? Modesto and Everett will be stacked. No, like, all the minor league systems last year were super fun to just kind of, like, keep up on and just watch them demolish opponents, like, pretty consistently. Modesto, Everett, Arkansas, like, all three levels there were, were solid. Right, like, Tacoma is a little bit different, but, like, still, very, very good. The Mariners need to acquire Rake Lamb. User error. Um... Are you are you sure about that? You won free Mariners tickets by winning a Mariners Mariners Kahoot based off of Felix. That's dope, Lucario. That's exciting. Do you know uh, what what um, what game did you win tickets to? When is Santos coming back? I think he's getting an MRI today to see when he could get back on his throwing schedule. So. Don't know fully, like, the exact details. I wouldn't expect to see him in April, by any means. So, Williamson, Rodden, Axel. Sorry. Um, the Mariners will be scoring runs. Mariners are scoring runs. It is now 9-7, to seven, courtesy of a double by... Double zero. Whoever that is off the top of my head. Bill Knight? I'm sorry, Bill Knight. Sure. Is that is that who that is? I can't tell by the broadcast because I just popped over. Maybe so. Good for him. Bill Knight to Everett also. also. Bill Knight to the moon. William Knight. Yeah, Azaria, apparently we can score runs. I had no idea. America stuff, hello, hello. Should do an MLB video at the middle of the year, seemingly the rest of the season after trade deadline moves that we make. Okay, Calvin. Okay. See how the roster looks at that point. Max, first stream. Hello, Max. Welcome to the stream. We are just vibing, um, kind of talking about whatever, just since the marriage game is still going on. It's nine to seven. Making a game out of it after Yovera kind of blew it. That's okay. Any news on Brash? Um, oh, there was... I feel like Dreyer tweeted about it today. Hold on. Oops, that's not how you spell Brash. I feel like he was just... I feel like he was throwing today. Like, or he, yesterday. Lord have mercy on my soul. Twitter's search function sometimes is just abysmal. What do I think Julio is going to do? Julio's hitting 40. He's going 40-40. Hey, the Mariners just tied the game, by the way. RJ Shrek, GOAT. 
Speaking of Shrek, bang, bang. Uh, tie ball game, ladies and gentlemen. Tie ball game. Um, Brash and Santos to stay behind in Peoria to continue on the rehab throwing programs. Santos to have MRI Thursday to hopefully clear him to resume throwing is the latest update courtesy of Shannon Dreyer five hours ago. Which is very exciting. Rodden about to go deep too. Brock! Rodden? Dude. He's a good table setter, Modesto. Good table setter. I saw someone ask what I think of the Giants bullpen. Thoughts on the San Francisco Giants bullpen. Am I including Jordan Hicks into that? Because I feel like Jordan Hicks isn't going to stick as the starter that they signed him to be, personally. So with Jordan Hicks, very, very good, I feel like. Enjoyable. Though Vol's nice. Um, Rodden to Everett. Bud, last year, he was a good table setter to Modesto. Is what I is what I was intending to say. If I did not say that, I apologize. Oh God, they're gonna make me believe. Don't make me believe. Hicks included. Okay, yeah. I mean, good. Like the Rogers, Duvall, solid. Shrek just schlacked it. That's a that's certainly a saying, Freeman. That is certainly a saying. Ryan Walker. Is it? This is another reliever that I've never heard of. Let's see, last year, 61 and a third, 3.23 innings, a 131 ERA plus. I immediately I'm a fan of Ryan Walker, local guy to Washington. Went to went to WSU. Local guy. San Rita, you just know you know so much. You know so much about bullpen and relievers, it's insane. Rayleigh or Canzone starts an opening day. Rayleigh made it a harder choice today, but I still think Canzone gets the nod. Um, based on what I've seen from Scott in terms of how he has like mentioned about like wanting to get all the starters in these lineups, I feel like R Luke Rayleigh will still get the start. I did not. I would probably if if I had to write the lineup, I'm starting Canzone. But I understand why both. Should be in consideration, but does he have a favorite reliever list that's seventy plus deep? Accent. This is not a competition. You both can love relievers as much as more than anybody else that I know. More than anybody else that I know. Mike, what's good? An inning, an inning. I read inning somewhere else, and then I said it. <sighs> a stream you can watch. W, Mike. W. Nowadays, yes. Okay. They throw over 100, then they are your favorite. So by default, Salmon, if the reliever that throws the fastest, like, does he make it to the top of your list? Like, is Duran, like, the, the, the guy for you? Cool thumb? Thanks, bro. I know. It's a pretty sick thumb, right? Pretty neat. Should I update it now that it's 9 to 9? <laughs> Should I update it? They don't have a winning season. It's my fault. Yeah, Andrew, I jinxed it. I fully jinxed it, and I'm aware of that. Here, I'll I'll update the thumbnail. Give me a sec. Hold on. Give me a second. Mike with the remember Mariners winning 117 and the World Series, boy. Hey, now we can blame Mike if the Mariners don't have a winning season. How do I want to do this? Okay. We are doing a live... Oh God. Live thumbnail change in the flesh. Mariners met the playoffs. Blame Mike. Exactly. See, Pant Michael gets it. He gets it.
I'm being a really good streamer right now. Is Buttery on a minor league contract? I Yes, he was signed to a minor league contract. Montgomery will be the final bullpen piece. I've seen some people ask, like, why hasn't Montgomery been signed? I have no clue. Dude was pretty darn good last year. He's been pretty darn good. And yet, here we are with nothing to show for it monetarily, courtesy of his agent, Scott Boris. All right, thumbnail has been changed. We're good now. I made it the inverse. Montgomery throws slow. It means he's bad. Throws slow is bad. Throws gas is good. I understand how you work now. Did you trade for Kurt Casale? He's basically the reason we made the playoffs years ago. I, I disagree. Watching him play baseball for the Mariners was painful. And I understand where your logic's coming from there, but... W thumbnail chills. Thank you, bro. I appreciate it. Don't hate on the hopium, Mike. No one, if anybody's hating on the hopium, just you know, give them, give them a little like, you know, like hey, you you stop it, something like that. That'll that'll tell them. That'll show. Cal doesn't leave Boris. Do you think that increases our odds of keeping him if they, if Cal gets a new agent for whatever reason? I feel like the chances of him signing a longer-term contract extension with the Mariners would go up, personally. I, I do I do agree with that sentiment. Is Logan Gilbert a client of Mr. Man? Wasserman, or Wasserman. I don't know how to pronounce it. We're live already. Roaming chain. So, here's the, here's the thing, right? I didn't want to wait around for the end of the game. I was just kind of sitting here doing nothing. And I was like, I'm just going to go live. And then in the midst of going live, Yovera gave up the lead. So then I was like, okay, I got to slow down. I need to pull back the reins here, change the packaging. And now we're now we're tied. Now we're tied. So we're live talking stuff in the middle of the game. I changed the thumbnail. Already. Like, bro, you've missed a lot. What would you say to Scott Wars if I, if I met him? Can I, like, just point and laugh at him like the... Bully from The Simpsons. <laughs> like that. I think that would be a good thing that I would do. Same, I would probably do the same thing to John Stanton. But I wouldn't because I'm not confrontational, personally. Hoping Taylor Chamel can make the team. Yeah. Yoshi's Island. W game. Um, I just don't... I don't see it, see it happening with the way the other outfielders on this roster played. Like, Canzone and Rayleigh's been doing well so like wish taylor Tramel the best i just don't see it really happening unfortunately cal yeah he is it's tough dude it's tough let's go m's reflect the sun hello go m's go m's had a god awful spring training well today luke rayleigh it's hotter than the sun two hits three three rbi both extra base hits. So, how about that? How about them apples? Rick, so Colton said Taylor Trammell as well in um, the last episode of the podcast that we did. Our, like, Mariners opening season preview. I said the Athletics was a team that made sense, and then Colton brought up the Rockies. Just, you know, a place where he can go and play and hopefully hit nukes. So... Could be could be a good vibe. They just extended Ezekiel Tovar for like seven years, eighty four million or something like that. So maybe maybe the Rockies are gonna start cooking. You never know. Juck Fon Stanton, that's good. Game has been fun. Rip Yovera though, yeah. Mitchell, it was it was tough. It was tough. What position should we put Garver? Max, not a position. He should be positionless, a.k.a. he should be our DH. That is it. If he catches, like, 10 games, fine. But DH has got to be it. 91 is your favorite number, so Anishiko. I, see, I don't I don't have the, the audio. Like, I don't know how to pronounce the name, so I'm just trying to read it phonetically. 
And I saw it and I'm like, wow, if somebody asks me to say that or types it in chat and I have to read it, I'm going to have a nightmare situation on my hand. And Azaria, you, ma you managed to do it in about three seconds after I had that intrusive thought. Um, but I'm glad you found a new favorite player. They burned two of his three options last year. Yeah, it was... I don't know if it was out of necessity to like just kind of... Like if people were hurt. I can't I can't remember the situations where Taylor Trammell got called up last year. But yeah, burning two of the options was a was a uh a yikers. Do I think the Mariners had a good off season? Yeah, I'd say so. Sorry, the the Mariners are trying to blow the lead. Um, yeah, I'd say the Mariners had a good offseason. Given also how the guys have been playing in spring, I think helps me with my copium opinion. But overall, I'd say they had a good offseason. If your expectations were like Shohei and like the big, big stuff with like big spending, of course, you're not going to feel that way. I never really thought that they were going to go crazy spending. I would thought what they would have spent more, but like, that's not the point. I think, you know, it's been, it's been good. Pollock got hurt. Okay. Pollock getting hurt. Kind of a blessing in this guy. Because <laughs> he was bad. Okay. And Taylor Trammell gets called up. Yeah, it's just unfortunate. And whether or not the Mariners have a chance to even like utilize him at this point, it's like, what can you do? So give him a chance up somewhere else. What do I think about the Shoei situation? More stuff keeps coming out about Ipe that I'm just like, bro. Like, what? Like, how, how are we going to fake going to... Like university, how are we, like I don't even know where to start. It's un it's it feels unbelievable. Like it doesn't feel real. <laughs> One of my thoughts on Yama Busto. <laughs> That's a crazy name, by the way, to say. <laughs> He'll be fine. I don't he's gonna be fine. It's one start. Like George Kirby has had blow up starts. Luis Castillo has had blow up starts, so it's like whatever. Serious question now, a fun one. The most random named Mariners jersey you've seen at a game at Safeco. That is the game we all... Yeah, so that's a that's a fun game. That is a fun game. Do you count jerseys? Like the shirt jerseys or only jerseys? Because I've seen crazier jerseys than I have jerseys. Because like spending a hundred bucks on a jersey is like... Yes, yes counting jerseys? Both? Okay. Last year, in the big 2023, I saw a Jose Guillen jersey, which I thought was wild. Like, Jose Guillen was fine, like, in his career, but, like, with the Mariners, it was like, what are we, like, what's, what? And decent shape still, too. Like, decent condition for a Jose Guillen jersey. As far as the jersey goes, I can't think of one off the top of my head. For like recently, just because I feel with the new Nike ones, a lot of people like transition to those. I like it had to have been it was before we released him. It was when Wong was still on the team. I saw two brothers both wearing Wong jerseys loud and proud in like June. And I felt kind of bad like that. Like that's tough. Like, they had to have been so hyped at the beginning of the year. Big Wong fans, for whatever reason, got them pretty early on in the year. For Bro to hit, like, 135, it's just tough. Trying to get a Willie Mo Pena jersey? My goodness. You're really going for the for the niche pick there. The new jerseys are so bad, bro. Like, 2024 jerseys are rough. Last year's were okay. Like... The Nike ones in general. Aside, like the All-Star Game ones. I actually don't hate the All-Star Game ones. But now that I've seen how they look outside of like a specific All-Star Game design, I'm like, Ugh! they're pretty bad. You want a Polanco? A Mitch Haniger City Connect jersey will be mine at some point this year. A Haniger City Connect is going to be fire. I don't have it. I don't have a Haniger jersey yet. City Connect, number 17, Mitch Hanniger is going to go crazy, I think. Want to get a Willie Bloomquist jersey? Willie Bloomquist was a favorite of mine growing up. Got a, I've got a ball signed by him back home. Wouldn't mind the doings if they're at least cheap. Yeah, like sell it for like 70 bucks. They look like they'd be like $70 jerseys, and I'd take it. 
Take it in a heartbeat. You've seen a Sealy one recently? That's insane. Big Wong fans? Yeah, you know, not not my best sent sentence there, Slayer. Not my best sentence. C-Town fan, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the stream. Mariners got bases loaded, by the way. Um, Azaria, your favorite guy just... He might pitch out of a bases loaded jam. You might have picked a good one. Eric Burns, Mariner jersey? <laughs> He's the next Josh Hader? He just looks like Gabe Spire. Like... Not the face, but the back profile. I thought it was Gabe Spire pitching low key. Where is it streaming? I have access to MLB TV, and since I don't have blackout restrictions right where I'm at, um, I can stream the games on MLB TV. He sucks. What are we on, bro? He's literally about to pitch out of a bases loaded jam. What are you on, accent? He doesn't even touch ninety. Okay, and. What's your point? It's on challenge mode right now. <sighs> it's game of the day on OV TV. Oh, that's a good point too. It is game of the day. There's a couple game of the days. Free game of the day. It's a bunch of them. Axel, when he gets out of this inning, bro, I want you to never talk down on him ever again. There's no blackout during spring training. That's good. That's exciting. I remember so many people defending Wong last year, including you. Yeah, it's it's one of those saying like same. Colton and I were like, eh, he'll figure it out. There's no reason why he shouldn't figure it out. And again, he never did. Just picked him because of the number. Well, he's the GOAT. Oh, my God. Oh, he can't see the ball. Oh, they're they're panicking. They get out of the bases loaded jam. Time to walk it off, ladies and gents. Let's walk off the last game in Arizona to put the Mariners at a 14-13 and 13 record. Ten toes down, you're gonna buy a Coar jersey. That's kind of that's kind of like it's kind of out of pocket, bro. Bases loaded, stranded. Yo, he's him. He's him. He's he's the next. He's next up for the Mariners bullpen lab. Pitchers don't catch the ball, anyways. I know, but as soon as the like the ball was hit, he just like immediately like was shielding the sun. Sent who needs ninety? None of us. We don't need to throw 90. We need to hit our spots. I don't care if you throw 100. Whatever. What was that thing? At, was it Pirates? Pirates spring training? I don't care if you throw 100 if it's ball four or something like that. Talking about like trying to... Like it was in their bullpen. Yo, Mike gifting a member? Hello? America stuff got a member? Welcome to the membership squad. Welcome to being a Majovian. Mike, I appreciate the gifted member, my guy. Big ups to you. You get, you'll get a badge and stream. You'll get some emotes. You'll have access to a catalog of members-only videos, including Hit It Here podcast bloopers, us doing Sporkle quizzes and such. Very, very fun stuff. The Ben Williamson walk-off about to go crazy. It's going to hit like crack, bro. Don't forget the brash double play. Dude. Hey. Who said I was going to? Who said I was going to forget about it? <laughs> Need a... Okay. I, accent. I heard Goldsmith say his name on the broadcast today. And I'm so thankful. Felnin Celestin. We're good. I could say his name now without sounding like an idiot. Felnin Celestin. Cooked. Who is walking it off, in my opinion? Let's see. I, I, I mean, if Felnine Celestin, I'm going to keep saying his name because I know how to say it now. He said it wrong. Son of a... Oh, I trusted Aaron Goldsmith with my life. I trusted him with my life. And this is how... And this is what I get. Where's Colton? Say hello to him for you. Oh, you got it, bro. There he is. Check out... Dude. He's looking great as always. Just. Mwah. That was a towering foul ball. Better not load the base with nobody out and not score. Crazy. Accent's going to join Mariner Mojo to talk prospects. Accent will be 
he can be the the prospect analysis guy. He he is him in terms of prospect knowledge. You're not wrong. Colton's looking good today. Always, bro. Always looking good. What do I think the marriage record should be after the first month of the season? Think we'll be two or three above five hundred. I I said like sixteen and fourteen as well. We got this. We I think someone asked it not too long ago or a couple streams ago. Whoa. Whew, couple streams ago. Um, yeah, I think like 16 and 14, 17 and 13. Get someone to fill in for Golden. See, if we did that, then like, how do you, I would feel some sort of either, not it's not guilt, like pressure to either get different people to do it. And like, I don't want certain people to feel left out. So I am happy to solo stream. If that makes sense. The lazy fly ball to center. Guys, why why we gotta talk about why we gotta talk about Jared Kelnick right now, huh? Why why do we gotta talk about Jared Kelnick right now, okay? I'm hiding it from the world. Why do we gotta talk about him, okay? I literally have it hanging up next to me. Oh, I don't really need a layout. With like the front of the jersey there. Instead of the back. Because I'm embarrassed. Also, I, I have my Julio jersey behind me, but I have the I have it facing the front. That's crazy. 40-40 season incoming? Are you sure about that? Truist Park fixes him? I can fix him. Were you the guy that threw the ball at Kirby? <laughs> me? No. I was not at that game. However... I would never throw a ball on the field. I'm not a buffoon. Call that on strikes. My life is over. That was an awful strike, by the way. It was, was that like, it was a little high and outside, no? A little high and outside their accent? At least outside. He was wearing, it was a City Connect one though, yeah? I think it was a City Connect one. You can't catch me. Bet Joe hits 300 on the bench. Yep. Just uh, my senior year, varsity baseball hit like 239. I was cracked. I was so good, man. The only person on my team that year that hit a home run, though. So that was pretty, that was pretty, pretty sick. So why is the, the ump is very, they're just inconsistent, bro. They're so inconsistent. Accent, are you ahead of me? Why are you saying Jake and Chia? Where did I go to high school? I will not be saying that. Just to, you know, not necessarily dox certain things about my life, even though my first and last name are available to the public on my stream, but, or on the podcast, but yeah. They want to go home? Bunch of fake fans out there. You're in Canada. Turn off the stream, please. You know your name. You can find it. Oh, I know. That's why I trust, you know, put trust in those out there to not look it up and say it. He won't say because he didn't graduate. True. I'm still actually in high school, guys. I'm a 26-year-old in high school. Still trying to get that, that diploma. Going to find your ninth grade photo. Oh, is Ben Williamson beating that out? Oh, baby. The game... Starts here. Can bet the Mariners win this game with Bet Online. <laughs> Guys, are you are you trolling me right now? You better not be trolling me. I wish you could look at your little league stacks. I know one year I hit five hundred and a fifteen or so game season. So the little league that I played in, I the way that the the ages worked, I was on the younger end. So, like, there was double-A, triple-A majors. Do the bet online sp Oh. Why? Why are we stealing? 
<laughs> Why are we stealing? <laughs> Why are we ending the game? We ended the game in a tie. We ended the game in a tie. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Why is he stealing? Why? My hair's a mess. Bro. <laughs> We're cursed. How many ties can we have? We're... Are we eliminating the choke in the ninth inning now? So in the regular season, we'll clutch up? It's spring training. Calm down. Richard. 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 No. Yeah, I know it's spring training, bro. It's just, we're just having fun. We're just having fun, bro. It's okay. New sponsor idea, Only Fats, where fat people go to make money. Hey, Colton has been on the Only Fats, you know. He, that's his That's his baby. That is his, his love child, if you will. <laughs> the Zoom. I, hey, man. <laughs> Dorian, what's good? Just rejoin to an extreme close up. Welcome back. Happy to provide you with the extreme low, you know, close up. Prospects mean mediocrity. Hmm. Hmm. We were twelve and four with three ties the last nineteen. After a one in what one and eight one and nine start. Get a new sponsor for more luck to the twenty twenty four Mariners. If Mariner Mojo makes more money in twenty twenty four, the Seattle Mariners will be better. Is what that was what that says to me. Incorrect. No, it's not, Mike. It's not. <laughs> but if Colton makes it, I'll we will be the first to tell you. Clip that we have no reason way of sharing it, so I guess that's just for me. Twitter, Instagram. There is a public Discord if you're interested. Um, I don't know if it's linked in the in the description of the stream. I don't know if I've updated that Azaria, but I will post. A link to join the discord now real quick like don't mind me invite copy you found my facebook there you go bro my facebook that i don't use w man twitter's private at the moment there's just where you join that there you go there's the link you're closing out hey man you can expose me for all my secrets if you want We are better in regular season because our regular players are playing on a regular basis. True. Big if true. Seattle MLB fan. Big if true. Can someone explain why we're playing spring training in San Diego? Um, so the Padres are getting back from the Seoul series from South Korea. And I want to say they open at home on Thursday against the Giants. So we're playing them in San Diego. It's public for a long time. Yeah, I mean, I don't have any of my stuff private. Like if people wanted to find it, they could go they could they can go find it. I'm not scared of anything. I just don't actually like the thing that I don't want to say about like why I don't want to say the high school thing is like then it's like other people's privacy. You need Mariner Mojo to subsidize your living expense because of the false hope you gave me. Lawyer up, boys. Hey, man, I'll see you in court, buddy. Gonna need a big chair, though, because we're really fat. Breaking Mariners trade Andres Munoz for the Diamondbacks for a player to be named later. America stuff. I don't accept and tolerate fake news here. Imagine if Joe got doxxed. Well, I don't have anything about where I live right now on my social medias maybe you'd find like my old house like when i was a kid but can we say hi to colton of course yeah of course we can say hi to colton look at him over there looking all cute joe swanson is his real name hey, hey. yeah luke Rayleigh was hitting the ball hard today it's a good sign richard bro was smacking the ball and that hustle triple i i love watching him run he runs like a goofball it's hilarious i'm sorry Dorian, we just, we're throwing around, we're, we're just, you want me to stand? Huh? I'll stand. I'm up here, bro. I'll stand up. 
I got plenty of space. Plenty of space. Colton needs to turn on his lights. Yeah, he forgot to pay the power bill this month, so his lights won't be coming on anytime soon. Ment <laughs> Mentally? Lift some weights, boys. Are we, are we gonna, are we gonna be mean to me right now? And no, I won't. Someone tell Connor next time he faces me to go easy? No. Couch GM will not relent. Are we going to be good? I mean, I hope so. I predicted the Mariners to have 94 wins, so roll away. It didn't roll as far as I wanted to. I got scared about pushing off too far. I'm over here now. Joe's address is 308. Yeah, I'm in, I'm in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Is that a Breaking Bad reference? Least let you hit one home run? No. Colton benches over 300 pounds? Uh. Hmm. Joe benches 200? I mean, I am weaker than Colton. Truthfully. Not good. Great. Mariners will be great. They will be phenomenal. Astros rotation, what is it? Framber Valdez, Christian Javier, um... Hunter Brown, Ronel Blanco, J.P. France. And then you add in Justin Verlander, take out J.P. France or Ronel Blanco. And then Jose Urquidy, if you want. He weighs over 300 pounds. Oh, Thomas! <clears throat> and still can't win the wiffle ball home run derby. Okay, guys. Just because he's a, reti he is a retired high school baseball player, you know, hey, man, we don't need to be dragging him through the mud. Framber and Christian Javier took steps back. Yeah, I mean, they were not nearly as good as they should have been advertised as. They were pretty rough. I think Brown will be fine. Like, if we're saying Hunter Brown sucks, I think he'll be okay. The season's over. Because you're in Canada, right? Which one of our players should fight with Anthony Rendon this year? I think Luke Rayleigh would put him in a body bag. I don't know why. I think Luke Rayleigh is could be classified as clinically insane. I think he, he just he looked he just got something, you know, a twinkle in his eye. Former D one decorated vet, exactly. Dorian gets it. Someone told me in high school, ball. I used to be really fast. That's not true. I'm always slow. I've always been slow. Think Luke Rayleigh agreed. And I'm a high school soccer player with little to no experience in the physical points of baseball and can still hit the ball Colton's weight in feet. It's a weird way to put that. So that's a weird, that's a weird way to say that. Yeah, no, Luke Rayleigh, he just looks crazy. Was Colton the fast one? No, neither of us were fast. Colton's been, he's, that's true. He's been down in, in Peoria trying to make the team. He is now back in T-Mobile. They're going through the final steps of the physical to see if he passes to make the team. Sometimes words don't word. Hey, to just, just say that you're a physical specimen that has been given, you know, special talents. Because if you have little to no experience with swinging a bat and hitting a ball, and your hand-eye coordination is good enough to hit a ball 280, 300 feet. Good for you. Good for you. Feel like the sauce fight? You think you think it's sauce? You think Taylor Saucedo's got that that dog in him? You could see it. Just runs in from the bullpen, just like a like the entire way, just like with his fist ready, just running from the bullpen. Three hundred is light work. All right, I'm going to head out. I'm going to head out. Like the 300 is light work. I mean, if we're using like, sure, like a metal bat and a metal, and like, a, like if we're using metal bats, I guess. I don't know. John, hope I'm well. Thanks. Hopefully you're doing well too. Would Spearman like Goldberg? Okay. 
I think Ryan Stanek throws a mad left hook. I was honestly waiting for the salute, my bad, bro. I, you know, like the eye my head out and like he fades out of the video. That's what I was going for. But like, I got you with the salute, bro. I got you. you could beat Sam Haggerty in a fight. He's pretty elusive. He's, he could be a quick one. You never know. If I ever make it to the pros, should I keep my username the same? Or do I change it to your name? What do you, what do you mean? Like, are you going to play professional baseball as Lucario? <laughs> Is that what you're saying? I think I antagonized Joe with your commentary. America stuff. You better watch it, buddy. You better watch it. No, we're chilling, bro. We're chilling. You never doubted Luke Rayleigh? Ethan, you've been... It's it, it Fan is in your name because you've been a fan since day one. You never switched up on bro. You never switched up on bro. I'm proud of you. Just checked your ninth grade year. You hit 691, 761, 964 in Little League. You were playing Little League in ninth grade? You were him, though. That's true. That's what I was saying. Like, how are you still playing Little League in ninth grade? Like, it had to have been, like, the like the next step up. Summer before high school? Did you... Accent, did you graduate 17? Okay. Then keep it as keep it as Lucario, then. 13 and 13 Springs actually decent when they give it... Yeah, no. They... They started down horrendous, the Mariners did, and then they, obviously a lot of ties kind of came into play. Could have gone one way or the other. So you split the difference. Still doing pretty good. 18? You and you are still playing Little League in ninth grade? That's wild. I was going to say earlier from Little League, but then the game ended. Um, I graduated when I was 17. So I'm young, I'm young for my grade. And so when everyone, like graduated from like the certain little league like they couldn't play in that little league anymore and they went to like what was called juniors um for like summer ball or that was it was like below select but um i was still allowed to play in majors and so we only had one team and it was the year that the auburn all-stars went to the little league world series if anybody remembers isaiah hatch I had to play against a bunch of the Auburn baseball players that went to the Little League World Series. And I was him. You played juniors in eighth grade? See, I was in majors in seventh grade. And I could have played juniors in eighth grade if I wanted to. But I stopped like playing after that and just did like school ball. Um, graduate in 17? Oh... You're old. It's okay. I graduated in 2015. But I, I graduated when I was 17. Um, yeah, I hit probably like 650. Like 15 homers. Like it was... I was lights out for my team. But we were awful. We went 1-19. and And the one team that we beat, the coach cried after we beat them. Because we were so bad. It was, it was, it was down horrendous. Would I like to play in the M's farm system? You know, if, if I had the ability to, <laughs> I think it'd be pretty cool, but I am nowhere close to being good enough to play professional baseball. Sleepy. I agree. Polanco has looked night and day way better than anybody that we've fielded at second base in the last couple of years. Oh, you graduated in 10, not 17. My bad, dog. I see. I see what you're saying. You're like, you're, okay, I got you. 2010? That's okay. It's okay. Never, never hit a home run, though, multiple off the top wall. Hey. Respect. Everyone that played Little League, every, you know, however long you played, just count the victories that you had when you were playing. Like, was I good at baseball? Do I think I'm still good at baseball? Like, I'm better than the average person. But, you know, let's start a Mariner Mojo Adult Softball League. We would destroy everyone and win. Hey, if and when the timing is right for stuff like that, I'm sure Colton would be okay with it. Just got to kind of figure out the, the living situation of where I'm at to be able to do something like that. Summer before eighth grade pitching stats. What'd you, <laughs> accent, what'd you top out at? What was, what was your fastest velo? 
You can throw 85? Bro. Daydara's got the... Got the high cheese. Saw someone say Kyle Lewis. Is he done? I just, yeah, I don't think he didn't make... I don't, I don't think he's on a roster right now. Which is unfortunate. But... Alas, if he gets healthy, I mean, there's a chance he could go overseas and, like, come back healthy. Be okay, but. I don't think he's on a team. Quit in ninth, don't remember, nothing crazy? Okay. Better hitter than pitcher, though? Same. Like, my max velo was probably, like, 73, 74. Like, nothing crazy. I ended up becoming a DH because your hit tool is good. <laughs> DH only. In high school, we had... It was basically a DH. Because um, I wasn't the starting first baseman senior year when it all started. Colton was ahead of me. And then I started hitting really well in like pinch hit opportunities and as like the DH. And so then I took over starting first base, which is unfortunate. Um, the one good thing about that year for me was I never made an error fielding. I had a hundred percent fielding percentage and was all league or I think all league second team because of it. So <laughs> If you need if you need a if you need an Evan White type player, I got you. Sounds like Joe's Evan White. Exactly, Mitchell. Exactly. Could pick it with the best of them. Nice. Yeah, I was a I played first and then Colton took over and was better than me. So then I moved over to third because I was a better athlete than him in terms of fielding. And then I got moved into the outfield. So I could play the corners. Infield and outfield. Had a pretty decent arm. Opening day left field. Marsha, opening day left field. I want to say Dom Canzone, but I think Luke Rayleigh. I think Luke Rayleigh's still gonna get that chance. I think I think he's gonna it's gonna happen. They're fastest on your team. Colt and I, I mean, if you can't tell by our bodies, we were we were slow. We were skinnier then in high school, but we were still slow. High school pissed you off for baseball? That's tough, Metallica. Like, I I read the rest of your comment. Like, I yeah. It's one of those things. It's like, it feels like it's a politics situation, which is what is the worst thing about high school baseball is the politics behind it. Of like, the coach just likes who they who they like and their families know the parents or whatever. Kept putting you in the outfit. Your eyes are so gosh darn bad. Couldn't, dude, that's crazy that you couldn't, you couldn't see in there ever you play the outfield. That's wild. Needs to be in the lineup until he fails. Yeah, I think, I think you just ride the hot hand and Rayleigh's heating up at the right time. Obviously, it's not a great look having a 175 average or whatever, but it was 0 .05 a couple or point, yeah, 0 .05. He's batting, you know, 50 just a, like a couple days ago. That's why you quit the politics. Dude, politics suck. I hate politics in baseball. That's why I quit, like, the one select team I was going to do one summer. It was all politics, and the only reason why I did it is because I knew that it was politics. And so I was going to – I joined it to try and, like, get in with the crowd, if that makes sense. And I quit because I just hated it. Okay. That's enough, Richard. That is enough. I don't care. <laughs> Another, I don't, another, it's spring training, calm down from you, Richard. I've had enough. Three strikes and you're out. Do we have, do we have a go-to setup, man? I'd say Ryan Stanek right now for Andres Munoz. Spire in the seventh, Stanek in the eighth, Munoz in the ninth would be my guess. If the starter is out after the sixth inning. All the coaches' dads are the starting pitchers and shortstops, basically? Yes. Do I hate Angel Hernandez? I mean, not my favorite human being. Um, 
Yeah, Select is a ton of money. Colton played Select pretty much like from 8th grade on. That's a ton of money. That's, you know, Mitchell, that's... Sorry. That's two, the math ain't mathin'. I'm saying if you if you do a third one, you're out. Okay. <laughs> uh, joined then essentially became a manager without be being officially a manager was on book, caught bullpen, could tell the right yeah. You just you just know. You just know. It's okay, it made you tougher. All right. As long as there's not trauma behind that, I guess. Hate is a strong word, but yes. Yeah, it's like I don't hate Angel Hernandez, but it's like I'm not gonna go grab dinner with the guy. Never thought I'd see confusion what three strikes mean on a baseball channel. I think it was more so a, a miss a miscommunication on my part. Driveline selecting it's five bands a year. <laughs> Stacking up bands, bro. <sighs> True to the blue. Trident's up. Angel Hernandez could croak and you wouldn't bat an eye. The game starts here. Shout out the bet online ads. Yeah, I mean, again, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna speak any further on the Angel Hernandez thing. Um, Lucario, I don't want people to go mad with power. You know what I mean? Don't want, don't want to, don't want to make it like a, the wild, wild west in here. Bro said he wouldn't bat an eye. He is... Accent's confirming himself as a sociopath live in the chat. So just occasionally it will be fun. So what if everyone just always bans you for a minute? Would it be fun then? Would it be fun if every single... Like what if the perk was you get to ban Lucario for a minute? What then? Am I going to play NCA 2020? Nah, probably not. Like, if I was, and this is not a slight to anybody that's going to be playing it, I just don't really watch college football that much. I'm not big into football or, like, college sports entirely anymore. Lucario's the Kraken goat, though. He lives to see another day. All members get direct access to the Mariner Mojo joint bank account. Oh, Lord. It'll, you'll just see, like, a dried up well. A broken piggy bank. College football is the best sport. Daydara, don't be mean. Don't be mean. Um, I, Yeah, like, college football is cool. I just don't, like, care about it that much. Personally. It's just, like, not... Like, football out of the big three in America, like, between baseball, basketball, and football. I never played football, so I was never that into it. Don't tell me what to do, old man. You're in Canada. You're not even in the right country to be talking to me like that, bro. Um, but I played a bunch of the, like, NC. I, I mean, N, I had NCAA for, I mean, the last one. And it was sick. It's just become Nebraska fan with you. You know what, dude? I will, I'll ride or die for the Cornhuskers for you. Uh, but my dad would probably kill me because he's a big Washington Husky fan. College baseball rules so much. Shout out Travis Bonanza or whatever his name is. Bazana? I have no idea. On Oregon State. My uncle used to coach at Oregon State like a long, long time ago, which is pretty exciting. Yeah, college baseball is cool too. There's just not a lot of like, like, there's not a lot of, I don't want to say there's not a lot of exposure. I'm sure there's ways I can go watch it. I just like don't take out the time to do it you know what i mean but yeah probably will not be playing nca i also just don't play it like a ton of games that often if i played had more time to play games maybe america football is just 90 percent ads and 10 percent head injuries you're good bro i yeah i just the at-home experience of watching the nfl or even college football is like i just don't enjoy it that much anymore. Hulu Live TV has a ton of it. Okay. If I'm willing to drop $70 on a subscription a month, sure. You're a Washington State Cougars fan, so you guess your dad would kill me if you met me. Um, I mean, there's some Cougars fans in the family that he is he's cordial with. Had a couple of my cousins go to WSU, so it's it's not 
bad, bad blood. I feel like my my dad's a pretty tame person when it comes to fandoms, unless you like Duke. Duke is probably the most hated school for him out of anything. Don't know why. I mean, it's probably just because, like, it's Duke. Like, there's no... That was the one thing I was taught when I was young, is that Duke is, like, the devil incarnate. That was, that was all that I knew. Was We hate Duke. He's got 10 Mariners in his Keeper League you joined. Nice. I mean, if you can sn if you can hold on to a couple of those pitchers for a Keeper League, that's pretty nice. Duke Nukem, Duke Nukem forever. Bazana's your guy. Had a history class with him last year. That's sick, bro. That's pretty neat. Don't like, don't enjoy watching basketball anymore. A bunch of babies in that league. Yeah, it's um, B-L-E-A-V. That is Believe. Um... Yeah, NBA's kind of in a weird spot with, I I really don't like the, like the protecting the superstars kind of a vibe of, like sitting guys out for rest. It's just like, I don't care. Like, why are we, why, why are we that, can, like, Jokic is made. No, I think I think there's plenty of good talent in the in the NBA. There's just a lot of like prima donnas where it's like, why do you need to sit out half the season? If you're injured, just sit out until you're ready to be healthy and play at full strength again. I just don't. I, yeah, load management. Thank you. I can't think of it. It's so dumb to me. Like I feel like that never happened. Like ten years ago. What you know about. Jack, I don't know how to pronounce his last name. Golk? I mean, bro put Kentucky in the dirt, I can tell you that. Busted my bracket up like it was nobody's business. I didn't have Kentucky going very far, but I did not have them losing to Oakland. I had to play 50% of games because Yeah, it's just like I don't I don't get it. And not to say that the team that I support plays their 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 best guys more often than not. I'm a Boston Celtics fan. Sue me. All right. Sue me. When the Sonics come back, sure. But until when the Sonics left, I went to the Boston Celtics. I feel like Tatum's. They've played what? 71 games this year? How many games has Jason Tatum played? How many games? I need to go in basketball reference here really quick. Bro's played in 66 games. He's missed five games. I don't understand. Like, why does, like, I understand, like, injuries, but, like, if you're injured, stay out until you're healthy and then come back and play full strength. Stop with the load management stuff. It's annoying. Boston Celtics, disgusting. Ray Allen, when the Sonics left, I wasn't going to Oklahoma City. Ray Allen, and I had always liked Kevin Garnett. Those are, those are my two pillars that I stand on. As Ray Allen went there. And Kevin Garnett. Loved Kevin Garnett growing up. And that's okay. I know the Celtics are likely a very... They're popular and popular to hate on, if that makes sense. Like, they're... like It's like the Lakers. Like, it's, a, you know, an easy franchise to be like, oh, bro, you like them? So, it's to avoid the long-term stuff that can come after wear and tear. Okay. And like I don't that wasn't a thing like ten years ago. So the Portland Trailblazers? Mm. Nah. They were the rival. Load management equals good, I disagree. They were the rival for the Sonics. Why would I go to them? I I I'd never considered even once being a Trailblazers fan, personally. Now they all have arthritis. Hmm. I I guess like I guess load management's fine. I just hate seeing it. Like, people talk about it every single time someone's, like, getting an interview or, like, Paul George, Kawhi Leonard, who's going to play tonight? Only one of them can play. Eh, it's just, like, annoying. Can we ban Lucario? Lucario! 
You're on your way to a timeout. He's on his way. He's just sending smooches, bro. Also, Daydara, you can bet bet online in Washington. It's offshore. Me when my bet online messages get nuked. <laughs> Mitch Garver in 285 with 30 bombs. I'm I'm in. I'm in for that. Oh, you're going in debt now? It's time. It's time to go in debt. Anyone from my area make it to a professional league? Uh, I don't think so, no. Not off the top of my head, like people got drafted, but nothing nothing crazy. Prize picks in Nebraska works, W. Really think the breakout player for the Mariners is Josh Rojas? I, you know, I'm in. I like Josh Rojas quite a bit. I I think his projection model is very low. Selling on the under for Josh Rojas. I would take about every over for Josh Rojas in terms of production in terms of projections. Something, something, bet responsibly. Yes. Of course. Sad about the Cougars in March Madness? Yeah, I mean, they had, like, they had, like, it's a good run, I think, in the regular season. But the tournament's just different. The tournament's just tough. Lyle Overbay went to your high school and Detlef Shrimp did for his senior year? Okay. That's pretty neat. Cougs basketball sucks. I mean, they are in the tourney, weren't they? Like they made they made the tournament. Pretty pretty okay for me. Take care, Pookie. Have fun in Canada. It's not a real country, bro. Take care. Take care. Go Blazers from Portland. Hope you get the Sonics back. Miss the rivalry. I mean, same. Sonics back would be sick. Immediately can like be a a Sonics fan right away. But. I probably still will also enjoy the Boston Celtics in that way. Trailblazers are just weird. It's a weird franchise of like where their direction is at. 19 and 52? Ouch, bro. Like, hopefully the picks and hopefully guys develop. Because that's just, that's that's unfortunate. What's the other expansion city? Vegas? Um, maybe. I could see I mean Vegas probably makes sense. They wouldn't do I don't think they'd do like a San Diego. And I don't see another like Canada, so maybe Vegas. Refuse to drink Starbucks after the Sonics departure. You will hate to learn that I have been employed by that company for eight years. Nashville would be cool. They've already got Memphis, you know. Utah? We're talking about baseball or basketball? <laughs> I was like, we got the jazz. You like jazz? Vegas NBA would be sick. In an infinite timeline, all teams end up in Vegas. Every, it all leads back to the Sidden City. Lucario, are you, are you now claiming that the Pacific Northwest does not include Oregon? Hello, fellow gooners in the chat. No way. Th Micah, you might have been the... I don't know how to tell you this, Micah. I don't know how many streams we've done. Let's say like 30 to 50. Does my city start with M? Where I'm at right now? No. Say we've done 50 streams. You might be the first person to ever type gooners in the chat. I, I'm proud of you today. Shouldn't include Oregon? That's crazy. Oregon is so obviously the Pacific Northwest. I know you, I know you work for Starbucks. Gotta do what you gotta do. Okay. Thank you. Just w don't wish it does. That's insane. Why? What's the hate against Oregon? Oregon's nice. My mom grew up in Oregon. Gooners never say die. Uh, Oregon is Northwest. Bite me. <laughs> we got the Washington versus Oregon defense squad here. Different country. Your Lucario, your Washington State nationalism. It's it's showing up a little bit too much. One hundred sixty two games out of Garver and Hanner combined equals awesome. So like eighty one games from either of them. Mm. 
I'd rather have 200 combined. What could be our trade pieces to trade at the deadline this year? Calvin Grant asks. I mean, say Blake Hunt is tearing it up in the minors and a team needs a glove first catcher, trade Sebi Zavala for something, I would say. Sebi Zavala can probably go. He won't get you much, but he can go. Um, maybe one of the platoon pieces, if like one of them is just playing better and say Bliss is ready. Get rid of Rojas or Urias. Probably not Rojas. He'd probably have to trade Urias at that point if he's playing okay. And Western Washington is the same place. True. Montana's the best Pacific Northwest state for views. The views, bro. Where in Oregon did she grow up? My family's lived all over, not to get too personal. Uh, Astoria. Where she grew up. Maine is more of a state than Montana. Are we, what is, some of the, the geographical takes going on in the chat right now are kind of blowing my mind. Harry Ford, Lazar Montes, and Emerson Hancock, and either Will Miller for an elite bat? Bro. I'm sorry? You're trading, you're trading, you're willing to trade those guys? I could see maybe Harry Ford. I don't want to get rid of Laz. Emerson Hancock, maybe. Will or Miller is like, whoa. I hope not personally but yeah to each their own if you need that elite bat you got to get it somehow please don't trade miller <laughs> <laughs> not much in idaho and montana kind of boring states i mean accent said montana is the best place for views and accent's never been wrong i heard if kang is Khan is your favorite pokemon you're a great podcaster yo that's crazy that's crazy, Mitchell. Kang's gonna happen to be my favorite Pokemon. So I must mean I'm a good podcaster. Those guys could be targets for other teams. Okay. You're saying like if if teams are looking. Okay. I'm with you now. For a second, I was like, bro, what are we what are we saying? We're gonna trade it, we're gonna trade Kirby or something. If if Kirby does not finish out his arbitration years as a Seattle Mariner, it will likely be an off-season trade, I would guess. And I don't even want to think about it right now. Don't even want to think about it. Not to trade... Well, yeah, not to trade all of them, but, like, if the... Like, I was thinking more along the lines of you were saying those were guys that you'd be willing to shop, is how I read the message. Your very first time ever seeing Flutterman, did you mistake it for Miss Drevis? I mean, I knew what, like, the paradox forms were. Micah, so, no, you can kind of tell, I mean, it's got the longer hair, hope we don't start off slow like every year, then having to play catch up like always, getting off to a hot start, maybe not, even, like, I guess record wise would help, being two or three games above 500 and like carrying that over into May would be great, if Julio's just does not dip below like 250, the entire, like, for the first, like, month and a half. That would be amazing. You trade Munoz? Oh, boy. Munoz is the de facto ninth inning guy for us right now. So, unless you trade him after Brash and Santos come back, I mean, sure, but I wouldn't do it personally. Kirby's going to be a Hall of Famer? I mean, I agree. Mitch combined... 280, 65 bomb, brother. I'm in. I'll, I'll be over the moon if that happens. Ems will start slow. It's like clockwork. Mitchell, don't. Don't. Don't say that. Munoz is a 25-year-old super reliever. Better get back someone like Spencer Steer. They would take a pretty penny to get him. You started a road to the show yet? Don't jinx us. Um, I have not started a road to the show yet. I thought about doing like a f something for like members or like a little series like that, but wasn't entirely sure if I wanted to. But we'll see. We'll see where content takes us with the show if we do stuff with it. Will John Stanton let us extend anyone next few years? You're not holding your breath. I think if the team goes out and wins this year with the core, 
like what you know makes the playoffs whatever i think that would signal to john stanton like bro like just let us lock up some of these guys as opposed to waiting for them to get more expensive in free agency or other guys like them to be expensive in free agency but azari it's midnight seven hours ahead Like, are you, I mean, you just got to be in, like, in the UK, right? Could choose a player for you to relive their career. I played, I put Ken Griffey Jr. at the beginning of his career on the 2024 Seattle Mariners. In Europe, yes. Bruv is, is Australia, bruv? I mean, that's not right. Well, I was thinking, like, how far over does it, like, the time zone change, like, eight hours or nine hours? I was thinking, like, maybe we're we're reaching, like, how far over does the seven-hour time zone stretch? Because I feel like as soon as you get to, like, mainland Europe, it's probably into the eight hours, is what I was thinking. Really hope you're right. He's very cheap. I mean, I'm probably not going to be right, Aaron, but I just have to live live with hope. Just keep keep on hoping. They went opening day, then they choke for a few months, then get blazing hot. Yeah. Last year was frustrating with the, you know, dance around 500 for a couple months, but it's not a, not a fun way to watch baseball. Australia is 16 hours ahead, not seven. Yeah, Australia is, it's like it's in its own, it's in its own little world, man. Thinking about that freaks me out sometimes. That like it's tomorrow. It, it it's already nine nine a.m. on March twenty fifth for everyone in Australia. That's just kind of crazy. Iceland, UK, Ireland, and Portugal in your time zone. The Iberian Peninsula. Very exciting. I took a European geography class recently, so it's like fresh in my brain. That's cool. Well, have a good night, Azaria. Thank you for hanging out in the chat and chatting it up. Marriage is going to be good and after All-Star break? Before and after? I hope so, Max. I, you know, I'm all in. Let, let the Mariners be good the entire year and watch us win the West. If we don't start off slow, if we win more games than the other teams, we win the West. Yeah, I know. Rather start slow than finish slow like the Rays. You just got to, you got to make it to the playoffs. Make it to the, the, the final show. Get to the dance. And just show out then. If we win one or two more games, like any of the ninth inning opportunities with the bases loaded, there's two of them last year I can think of, win those games during the playoffs. But how about we do neither and play well? True. What if we just play consistently well the entire year? John, later? Later. Later, dog. Think after the Mariners win the World Series, the MLB should expand to three teams. I'm sorry. I can't. 32 teams and four divisions. East, West, Central, and South, and eliminate the wild card? Some divisional realignments. Is he lagging for anyone else? Uh-oh, my bit... Uh-oh! Yo, stream's dead. The stream is dying. If anybody can hear this transmission, I'm going to end stream because my bit rate went from 4,000 to like 800. Thank you to anybody that was hanging out in the stream and chatting. I appreciate it. Got to pay my taxes? Bro, you're right. <laughs> 